Hello and welcome to Yoga Baby. Today we will be completing a 15 minute practice with baby that includes relaxing stretches and baby massage techniques. Incorporating routine into your day can be helpful to both you and your baby for your mental and physical well-being. Pick a time of day that is particularly calm or maybe particularly stressful for you or your baby to complete these relaxing stretches to calm the body and decrease stress. Start by coming down to the floor on a soft, comfortable surface. Set up in a wide V-shape with the legs. Not too wide, just wide enough to make space for your little one and stretch the inner hips and thighs. Bend your knees if you need to. You can even place yoga blocks or a blanket to support the space under the knees. Grab something to keep your baby occupied for a few minutes, especially if they're rolling and crawling. Bring your fingertips behind you and press the space between the thighs towards the floor. Lift the chest. Take some gentle neck stretches by lifting and lowering the head. And then gently moving the head from side to side, reaching ear towards your shoulder. Doing whatever movements feel good. Inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling and interlace your fingers, rolling the palms to face upward. Lengthen through both sides of the waist. Exhale, side bend over towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, over towards the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, take it left. Inhale, center, reach up. Release your arms out and down by your side. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Grab opposite elbows and twist over towards your right leg, moving from the waistline. Release your left fingertips to the outer right thigh and your right fingertips behind you. As you breathe, lengthening out through both sides of the waist, reaching through the crown of the head. Inhale, reach up. Grab opposite elbows. Release your right fingertips to the outer left thigh and your left fingertips behind you. Inhale, reach up, wrap opposite elbows. Exhale, take it again over towards the right. Inhale, reach up center. Exhale, over towards the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach the arms out and down and release. Go ahead and grab your baby. If they're not already there, take them between your legs. I'm not certified in baby massage or anything, so this is super casual. Start by offering some light touch on the arms and legs. You can see I'm just running my hands down the legs, down the fingers. And maybe offer some firm touch, squeezing at the joints, little squeeze at the shoulders, at the elbows, wrists, massaging the palms, and then same things at the legs, squeezing the hips, the knees, the ankles, giving a little massage to the bottoms of the feet. There's lots of nerve endings on the bottoms of the feet, so it's good for body awareness. Reaching and stretching their arms up overhead. Maybe you just freestyle here, pick something that your baby seemed to respond to and offer that again. Maybe add some singing, some tickling. This is just a time to bond, relax with your baby. It's also important to tune in to the things that they like and don't like. Every baby is going to like different sensations. You might notice that the light touch they don't care for so much, whereas the firm touch they're really into. That's something good to note. Now my baby tends to get constipated, so I'm incorporating some tummy massage here, moving up with the palms the right side and then down the left side to encourage digestion. 
nice and gentle. Adding in some hip circles, knees to chest, also just good for gas and digestion. You can be playful or silly if that's something that feels natural to you. doing some big circles with the hips starting kind of small and then getting progressively bigger and I'm moving my body with her and then take them in the opposite direction those hip circles go in and down Bicycling the legs can also be really good for encouraging digestion. Give them a good squeeze on both sides just to reset and then maybe do it again if that was something they like. Again, this is all really casual. Maybe your baby doesn't like any of this. That's okay. Maybe instead you just model some relaxing behaviors, breathing, moving the body, your body in a way that feels good. My baby likes to watch me do stretches. But this should, at the end of the day, be an enjoyable experience for both of you. So try to find the things that are enjoyable for them and see if you can incorporate that. Depending on the age of your baby, you might encourage some working at midline at the center, bringing their feet together. You can place a toy in the center, maybe have them grab for it. You could also work on crossing midline, so putting a toy in the opposite side of their body, having them reach across the body to grab it. And if it feels good for you, you can forward fold here in this wide body stretch, wide leg stretch, and give them a little kiss, tickle their nose. And then whenever you feel ready to move on, We're going to switch positions. Bring your right sole of your foot to your inner left thigh, focusing on stretching the low back muscles now. Opening up the side body and the chest. Bring your right fingertips behind your ear. Drop your top shoulder back to open through the chest. Press down into your right sit bone. And if you want, you can extend that top arm straight. The left fingertips can just find the inner or outer calf. You can let the eyes close and just really breathe into that right side body, the low back on the right side. And then getting ready to switch and set up on the other side, left sole of the foot comes to the right inner thigh, left fingertips behind the ear. Your right fingertips can come to the inner, and outer, inner or outer calf. Breathing into the left side waist. <laughs> you can see she's all interested in me again. I will say it's also helpful to do all these things in like a baby safe space. A space that she can explore freely while I can practice my yoga. And then taking your time, go ahead and set up in a tabletop position. Setting up in tabletop position, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. You can keep the toes tucked underneath of you. Moving into a few rounds of cat-cow. On your inhale, drop your chest towards the floor, lift the gaze for cow pose. And on your exhale, curl and round the spine for cat pose, drawing your navel in towards your spine. Keep going, inhaling and exhaling. Just matching your breath to movement. And after a few rounds of that, we're going to set up in 
a modified plank position, so keeping the knees dropped down, bringing the shoulders over in line with the wrists, and then making it dynamic, sit back to like a half child's pose, so keeping the hips away from the heels, and then back to plank pose. Inhale, come forward, exhale, sit back, building up a little bit of momentum, and then the next time you come forward on your inhale, bring that right foot with you and set your right foot on the outside of your hands. Heel toe your right foot in towards your left arm, coming into pigeon pose. Drop the knee to the floor. You can add some additional support under the right hip to allow your left rib cage and left hip to fall forward. Option to stay upright or start to forward fold or come onto your forearms or hands to blocks is another great option. You could also bring a pillow or yoga block under the head so you can release the crown of the head down. Every inhale, you light up your awareness of a sensation that you're feeling in your body, maybe in the hips, maybe in the shoulders, and on your exhale, see if you can just release. On your next inhale, start to walk your fingertips back in towards your leg. Plant your palms down. Firmly press into the mat, lift that right leg back, coming back to tabletop, and then back to that modified plank, shoulders over wrists, moving back and forth from that little half child's pose into plank pose, building up some momentum. Inhaling as you come forward, exhaling as you sit back, and then the next time you inhale, bring your left leg with you to the outside of your hands. Heel toe your left leg in towards your right arm and drop your left knee down. Bring your right hip crease and right rib cage forward so that your torso is parallel, and then placing any support that you need to blanket, block underneath that left hip. On your inhale, start to walk your fingertips back in. Plant your palms down, lift your left leg up and back, coming back through tabletop, sitting back into full child's pose this time, big toes touch, knees separate. Let your torso fall between your thighs. Extend your arms out, release the head down. Take a few mindful breaths here and then start to walk your fingertips in towards your knees, coming up to a comfortable seat. Just a minute of mindfulness. I've placed a pillow between my legs under my seat just to add a little additional support. You can also take a block or blanket, come to cross-legged or on your knees, whatever's going to be a comfortable supported seat for you. Let your gaze be soft. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Feel your breath. Take a moment to think of three things in your life that bring you joy. Visualize those things in your life. Maybe it's a person, your cup of coffee, your yoga practice. Allow that feeling of joy to follow you off the mat and into your day. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you're notified when new videos are released. You can also follow yoga.baby on social media for chubby baby cheeks and additional tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.